So does being one of the biggest home builders in America, like top 10 big, make you better? Should you consider this builder? Should you run far, far away from them? Let's find out. Today we're gonna dive in and talk about Lennar Homes, uh, the good, the bad, things you might wanna know before you sign a contract with them. Here we go. Lennar Homes was started in 1954, uh, and over the last 50 or 60 years, they have just continued to grow and expand their reach here in the United States. In 2000, uh, they acquired U.S. Homes, and then again in 2018, uh, they merged with Cal Atlantic. So they are uh, one of the largest builders by size here in uh, the United States. Currently, I think they're building in 26 different states, uh, but for the focus of this video, uh, I sell real estate in Texas, specifically uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth marketplace. So we're gonna try and kind of focus in as best we can there. Uh, one of the challenges, honestly, is when you get into these bigger national builders uh, is reputations you know, somewhat shift from market to market. So what our experience is here may not be what the experience is uh, in a different market, although I think it's probably gonna be pretty similar uh, when we talk about uh, Lennar Homes. So when it comes to size, I started this video off by saying by top 10. Uh, the way we're counting this is is number of closed transactions for the year. So this is not you know communities they're involved in, this is not states, uh, this is number of closed transactions. And they're actually, uh, so looking back at 2022 data and kind of projecting into 2023, uh, they are actually number two in the United States. Here, let me show you. So this is the Builder Online Top 100. Uh, and, you know, this is the annual list that looks at the top 100 home builders uh, ranked by closings. So at number one, we have the DR Horton. Uh, we will talk about them and again in another video. Uh, Lennar at two, Pulte, NVR, Meritage, uh, KV, Taylor Morrison, Clayton, Century, Toll Brothers rounds out the top 10. So we're going to go back and we're going to focus on Lennar. First thing I want to point out is you'll see this P on this list. Uh, these are companies that are publicly traded, which means they have stockholders that they have to answer to for how um, their product performs. So 2022 closings, they closed 68,817 homes uh, and gross revenue 31,700. I think that's a billion. I think that's how that plays out. Let's click on it and let's just see. So that is total revenue. That's a million. That's not a billion. Could they they hadn't done a billion dollars. That's that would be nuts. A million dollars, so 31 million in revenue. They closed 68,000 homes in 2022. Uh, so definitely crossed the top 100. But here's the thing I want to point out that's interesting that I that is not getting talked a lot about uh, in the new home space, and it really should be getting talked about more. We all know what's going on in the housing market with prices and inflation and uh, big companies coming in and buying out, you know, whole developments for rentals. Uh, here's the number that I think is incredibly interesting is single family build to rent. What does that mean? That means Lennar built these homes for the purpose of being straight rental properties. Uh, they were never going to hit the market. Uh, they were sold before they were probably even built, uh, sold to investment companies and they will never come back to like those homes will never see like a single family um, be able to purchase those. So 2418, I would guess as we uh, continue to look forward, this number is probably going to grow. You're probably going to see Lennar and other companies similar to them that are these big, massive uh, box builders. They're probably going to continue to grow this build to rent uh, idea, which is funny because some of these builders are, are actively trying to keep out quote unquote investors, i.e. small mom and pop own, you know, one or two rental properties, trying to keep them out of those communities, writing HOAs and development agreements to keep them out. But yet they're building communities for themselves to continue to rake in money hand over fist. And those homes will never hit the market again. I think it's just a, something that needs to be pointed out. So yeah, 68,000 closings, 2,400 of them were built to rent. It'll be interesting to see at the end of 2023, how, uh, how much this number goes up. If I'm a betting man, uh, I'm betting that that continues to uh, 
um, escalate for them. Enough on their numbers. Let's go to their website and just kind of peruse. Again, we're talking specifically DFW, what they've got, what they what they don't have. Um, so you go to their website and it says we have uh, something for everyone. Uh, and immediately, uh, I just feel gross. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like we have something for everybody for a variety of lifestyles. So they do single family, multifamily, active adult. Uh, they're one of the few builders that, act, that that advertises that they do next gen, which is this idea of like mom and dad, little Timmy and Susie and grandparents living all under the same roof. So you're like, oh, that sounds really good. And it, you know, in some cases it very well could be. So I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not... Um, I don't know if they're doing it the right way. We'll get we'll get to that. So everything you need in a home, all of our homes are, they have this mantra or model uh, that everything is included. And you look at that and you're like, oh, that sounds really good. Everything is included. What does that mean? Let's read between the lines. Um, everything is included. We built almost 70,000 homes last year. Translation, you're not picking anything. Or if you are picking something, you're picking very little. So building with Lennar, this is not going to be a, hey, let's go to the design center and make changes and make our home unique. Nope. This is going to be, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit as my grandmother used to say. So this is, this is it. Take it or leave it. Uh, if you don't buy it, somebody else is going to buy it. Uh, so everything you need all included. It sounds really good. And to, <laughs> you read between the lines and you remember, Oh yeah, they built 70,000 homes um, and their homes, they can pop them up incredibly quickly. That's why because you're not selecting anything. Or if you are selecting things, it's like one or two things and you're selecting from one or two options. That's it. So everything you need in a home, smart home, energy conscious, we're here to help you. They're native to the Dallas Fort Worth market. Here's, here's a couple things I, just, I wanna say about their uh, website as well. Uh, a simpler way to build. Our team is here to help you through the entire process from financing to selling your current home we're here to help all the way around. Can I be honest? I don't trust that. I'm just just being transparently honest. Um, I don't I don't trust it. Uh, over the last couple of years, you know, builders, you know, they have reputations in communities, whether it's with their clients or it's with other realtors, because we all talk. And here's here's what I want to be candidly honest about. Lennar has taken an active stance of trying to cut realtors out of the process. Now, some people argue, oh yeah, you don't need a realtor to buy a home. You know, you can do it without them. Sure, absolutely, you can. Um, we're not gonna so I'm not gonna get on a soapbox for that. But what I am gonna get on is if you, somebody wants to have a outside party representing them in the transaction, they should be allowed to do that. They should be compensated for them doing that. Lennar is actively trying to cut realtors out, keeping you from having representation. Well, how are they doing that? Well, they've gone to a flat 1% commission on everything they sell. Some of their communities, half a percent. There's no, no very little anymore do you see, hey, we're gonna pay a cooperating broker, cooperating agent, 3%, 2%, any sort of bonuses, because a lot of new communities do that. And full transparency, most of the time when communities do that, I usually give that back to my clients. When they're like, oh yeah, here's your thousand dollar bonus, it's yours, I'll sign it over. I want you to get into a home. Lennar is saying, no, we don't want you to have representation. We want to try and make this a simpler way to buy. Uh, and by doing that, we're saying, hey, um, we're going to cut your realtor out and they're going to get 1%. And the only way they're going to get 1% is if they show up on the very first meeting. Like we're not adding them to contracts. We're not like, if you decide after the fact, hey, I think I need somebody to represent me. You're not even under contract yet. Not doing it. 1%, half a percent. Um, they are also one of the builders that through 2020, 21, and early parts of 2022, uh, were refusing to have what we would call contract integrity. So these would be contracts that were, uh, you know, agreed upon and then terms would change and realtor commissions would get cut or pricing would get increased. And it's like, wait a minute, this is not what we agreed on. Um, and it's like, oh yeah, no, we, again, our contracts are written for our benefit, not yours. And we just want to do what we want to do. So we're going to do that. So just be mindful not saying that you have to have a realtor in every transaction that you do, but in a new construction space, it's super important. I sell a ton of new construction. I love being in the new construction space. Uh, I work with some phenomenal, phenomenal people. 
uh, the some of the sales reps for some of these different builders, they are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I love them. I think they're they're my friends. I again, I enjoy working with them. Builders that build good quality, uh, builders that care about their homes and their customers, will actually ask you if like prefer you have a realtor that knows what they're doing. Like some of these builders that actually care about their people. Um, they want you to have representation. They want you to have somebody that's advocating for you, that's answering questions, that's staying on top. They want you to have that. When people start hiding behind, oh yeah, you know, you don't need representation, you need to start asking questions. When they start cutting people out of transactions, start asking questions. That's part of the soapbox for, for them. So we go back to their site. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is ca get a cash offer, sell your current home. Uh, at one time, this was a partnership with Open Door. Um, so, you know, we've all heard about open door, you know, we've got the cash offer. Yeah. Yeah. Sell your home, no hassle, whatever. I'm not saying that that's a bad choice. I'm just saying, look at the fees. Like before you look at that home. Yeah. If your home is in a distressed situation, you need to move quickly and you need to sell it. Yeah. That might be the best way to go. Um, but if your home is in pristine condition and you know that you could get top dollar for that home, at least talk to a local realtor before you you lean in and say, oh yeah, we're going you know cash offer with open door. So they're making this promise and you're probably leaving money on the table. Probably more so than not leaving money on the table. So just please read those charges, read those fees and just have a conversation. I'm not saying you have to hire another realtor, just have a conversation and say, hey, what would this actually look like to sell with you versus taking this cash offer? Um, so they're offering all these things and telling you, oh yeah, it's gonna be a really simple process. And it may not be, just putting that out there. So uh, as we talk about um, builders, one of the other things I always like to point out is builders lenders. Uh, most of the bigger builders have in-house lending. So, you know, Highland Home Loans, VR Horton, Lennar Lending, whatever. Uh, and usually, most of the time it is, um, start with the builders lender because those builders and their lenders, those incentives are gonna be tied together. But that doesn't mean we always stay with the builders lender. So we wanna shop it. Uh, against the other lenders to make sure we're getting the best use of our money. Lennar lending, I've had clients talk about how they were getting way over, like they were getting this credit, but they were getting way overcharged uh, and it actually made sense to go with an outside lender. So every builder, but especially Lennar, um, please just like take those fee sheets, shop them with another lender, get a verified source because the goal is saving you as much money as possible. So this is one of their current lending incentives. Take advantage of a 4.5 fixed rate through Lennar and up to six grand toward closing costs. Uh, again, just make sure you read the fine print and understand how that's all playing out. Of course, every lender, needs they're going to make money on their fees, their origination, their documents, things like that. Just make sure that they're not taking advantage of you. I'm all for them making money. I'm not for them taking advantage of you. So just do your homework, please, or work with a realtor that knows how to do their homework and knows how to have the right people look at things uh, and can ask those questions for you. Uh, just want to be fully transparent. New construction is my jam. I love selling new construction here in DFW. So if you need help or you have questions or you want somebody to represent you, I'm gonna put my contact information right here at the bottom of the video. Reach out, I'm here for you. I'm here to advocate, here to answer questions, serve your family any way I can and be a hopeful wealth of information and knowledge so that you make sure you end up in the right space. Uh, so with that, let's go actually take a look at what homes uh, might be for sale right now uh, from Lennar in DFW. So this is the map of DFW, kind of sitting around my face. Uh, and so currently they have 48 communities with 126 uh, quick move in homes is how I've got this sorted. So for all the things that we talk about Lennar, uh, they, again, they're gonna build 70,000 or more homes. So they're gonna be available uh, and for in some places, they're going to be the cheapest, most affordable option. So if you're looking and you're understanding that mindset of what you're getting, I'm not saying never buy from them. I'm just saying understand what you're getting for what you're paying for. And it probably is going to cost you more down the road. Not that you should never buy from them. Just please be mindful of what, you know, what is going in in terms of quality, in terms of labor, in terms of material, uh, in terms of finish out, all of those things just like, and for some people, it's going to be a fit and they're going to have a great experience and you're going to enjoy your home. I'm not I'm just, again, be mindful of the quality. Uh, you're going to get what you pay for, right? So for example, we'll start, we've sorted uh, low to high. So we'll actually start with this one. So this is Fort Worth. So this is a three bed, two bathroom home. This is 207 999. So this is a 
Uh, let's click on it and just kind of get a feel for what we're looking at. So single story, less than a thousand square feet, $207,000. I'll kind of give you an idea. So you're not, you're getting no, no garage space whatsoever. Uh, basically just kind of a like sh shotgun style cottage house. Uh, this is probably built, if I'm guessing, uh, probably built on a 30 or 35 foot lot, uh, probably closer to a 30 foot, if maybe a 40, 2.76% on a tax rate. Holy cow, feels high. I, even as at looking at this home, I mean, you can see that it's not going to be a brick. This is going to be kind of a siding finish out. So, so no masonry on that home. Go back to the floor plan. You've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms, like a straight shotgun style, no garage on a small lot. So, you know, 207, 990. But here's kind of what I want to point out because you'll kind of see this on all of their. So this is in their FAQ. Again, going back to the whole, do I need a realtor? No, you don't need a broker or agent, which of course you don't. We, our consultants uh, represent uh, Lennar. See right there. Our consultants represent Lennar, not the customers. They are knowledgeable experts. Bring somebody that represents you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just getting on get on my soapbox for that. Uh, of course, you're welcome to work with an independent realtor. Not all communities offer a co-broker commission, which means we don't want you to have a realtor because if you have one and they're working the deal, you're going to have to pay them because we're not paying them because we don't want you to have them because we want to screw you is the way I take that. I mean, just, just being candidly honest. So that's my channel. I can do what I want. It's my space. 199, 207, 215, 289, 225. So you're looking for something cheap, 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 maybe consider it, but it's going to cost you in the long run from like said, workmanship and quality and the repairs you're going to end up having to do. Uh, let's just look for funsies. Cause I, you know, we've seen the low, let's go high to low. What do we think here in DFW? Here we go. 800. One point three, one four, five seven, one point three million dollars. Can I can I just say, if you want to pay Lenar one point three million dollars, I need to know what you're smoking because there are so many better builders at a higher price point that I would say let's consider them. Please tell me what you're smoking because I want to be a part of it because it could be fun. One point three million dollars in Keller. I just have a hard time believing the qualities there. So it's two story. Let's see. Next gen home with its own kitchenette. Ooh. So you got a three car garage, a full next gen suite, owner suite. Don't, 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 don't pay them that. Look at, go look at Toll Brothers or go look at Highland or go look at Perry or go not. No, it don't make me cuss. I don't like to cuss on video. Okay. Back, back, back to what we were doing. Another interesting thing. Uh, that I've heard from a sales counselor at Lennar recently, uh, you know, had some clients looking and here's the thing. If you ultimately, I want you to do what's best for you. So if you tell me, Hey, we all want to work together and I want to buy Lennar home. I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to share my feelings. I'm going to tell you, please get the home inspected, but I'm going to tell you, please get the home inspected regardless of who you build with. I don't care. Get it inspected. But at the end of the day, if the home works for you, we'll buy it. We'll make it work. But here's, here's the interesting thing. I was looking for a home for a client and was talking to one of their sales staff in the call centers, trying to get some information. And one of the interesting things she told me, she said, hey, I think we're, because she was looking for a very specific home, two-story bedroom, you know, very specific what they were looking for. So we're trying to find this plan. And the sales staff tells me, hey, I think we're getting ready to eliminate two-story homes from our catalog. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder why she goes, well, it's more cost efficient for us to do single story. And I get that, you know, adding a second floor is more expensive. So I, I would venture to say it'll be interesting as their communities progress, how many of their newer communities do not have second floor options. Like it's all just going to be single story homes. So if you're wanting a, a two story Lennar, you may have to jump on it while you can, because they may not be around for much longer building that plan. So going to mostly single stories also seems like they're going to mostly smaller lots. So 35, 30, 40 foot lots in their catalog is kind of what it appears like, at least here in DFW. Uh, let's close it out. Let's actually just go, let's go read some reviews online just for, uh, for funsies. Cause I always want you to, you know, my opinion. And of course, as everybody's opinion, you take it with a grain of salt, shot of tequila, do your own research. And let's just, let's just kind of take a look and see. So here we go. 
So this is on uh, New Home Source Professional. This is a kind of a builder uh, review website. It's a great place to look. So newest to oldest, and we're looking, again, I'm just looking in DFW. So very professional, four stars. Home buying process was smooth and easier, but the quality is less than average. Home quality is very disappointing. Walls and doors were not smooth. It was sharpened. Adults and kids get scratched when hitting the walls and door holders. Flooring was not settled and humpy bumpy. <laughs> humpy bumpy. So we got another four star. Process for setup was good. Things got handled. You know, a few things which I would have liked is some predefined interior layout options. So what he's talking about is making changes. Everything is fixed. You're not going to make changes to, the, to their floor plans. Disappointed. After our third party inspection, smart man. We were things that were supposed to be addressed by closing. Half were not. It took weeks for them to address deficiencies. Had to contact them multiple times. Item is a tilted roof. And the inspector contacted the roofing company and said, it's good enough. Good enough. Y'all, we're spending several hundred thousand dollars. We don't want you to end up with good enough. Won't buy from Lennar again. Very poor craftsmanship. A few things broke. We've only been here a little over a month. Say that certain repairs have been done when they didn't. Poor materials, poor roof craftsmanship. Uh, closing that gave us an envelope with, few pa- with a few papers instead of full packets and copies. Everything two months out. We don't know how to pair HOA. Nobody ever informed us. Their new home orientation is horrible. They don't do blue tape. Instead, they have you take pictures of everything and takes forever. I experienced that with a client. We closed on one a couple months ago. It was the yeah the blue tape experience was not, but then we've got one of the best experiences of this year. Their team was very informal, was in very informal and patient throughout the process. Hard to get a hold of once home is purchased. Hey, that's a big deal. Uh, we often you know we want to talk about hey getting you to the closing table, but we also need to talk about what happens after that, like when something comes up, when things go wrong. How are they fixing it? Can you get a hold of them? Can you get the information that you need beyond the closing table? That's an important piece of this too. Construct was warranty final. Everyone was great, very satisfied. Okay, so we're get, we're getting mixes. Uh, let's do. We'll also we'll close it out. We'll do a BBB as well. And oftentimes, again, remember, most of the time, happy people don't talk about it. I wish they would, but a lot of times they don't. Uh, Philip. So this is like Lenar all over. So I don't know where this is at. So I wouldn't even give them a shadow of a star if possible. Did not tell the truth. They lied to me. They kept moving us to a new house. This guy is in Texas, where we're where it's currently been like 105. And he said, uh, we've been without AC for two weeks in the 100 plus heat. Worst, whatever. Very disappointed. Lied to from the start. Unethical behavior from the salesperson, the manager. Very poor and rude. On the, fi- on the site and phone, pressured me to sign, but then I backed out. Only care about your money and nothing else. Not a trusted builder. Would never recommend living in the Lennar community. So lucky I'm renting and don't own this home. Everything is cheap. I had a leaky shower. Someone had to come out and look at it. Turns out they didn't connect the drain to the plumbing system. Cheap and crummy. We'll pair that with Humpy Dumpy and we'll call that good. Thank you for what you want. I'm here to help, here to answer any questions, here to try and be a resource when it comes to new construction. I'm here to advocate where I can. If you need help, my contact information, again, it's at the bottom of the video. Please reach out, call, text, email, whatever you need here for you if you want to browse new construction homes that are quality that have some good um, closing incentives like legitimately good closing incentives like buying down to 4.99 and not overcharging you there's a link down in the description to do that if you have questions or if you've built a lennar home i'd love to hear about it like just let's 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 have a dialogue and talk about it if you found value in this video and you want to continue to learn about new construction here in dfw well, uh, we have content dropping every single week Uh, So stay subscribed to the channel. Thumbs up if it was helpful. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.